Hello, today I will be testing this brand new power supply I just got. It is made by Chargery Power and it is the model S1200. And as the name suggests, it has 1200 watt of output power. It has three terminals and it is rated 24 volt and 50 amps while having 55 ampere maximum. What is very convenient is that you can adjust voltage with this trimmer. Here now I put it down a little, down to 11.6 and now up to 18 again. This is the maximum my chargers can take. So I will start with this one. Okay. Now I have a setup of batteries and chargers here. Uh, this iCharger 3010B will draw about 600 watt. This block are 50 A123 cells soldered together in a, a 5S10P configuration. I will charge them with 30 amps and as a total I will get about 600 watt that I need here. Here I have uh, three uh, one, two, three packs and I will charge them with 20 amps and this will give me about 300 watt. And here I have another packs and a few smaller ones. I will charge them with 10 amps and this will get me another 150 watts. So as a total I will get about 1050 watts, give or take a few. So what I will do is, as I just told, I will start with 18 volt to keep the amps down and um, then I will reduce the output voltage and so the chargers will be forced to draw more amps from the power supply and I will even see if I can get them to use over 55 amps to see how the overcurrent uh, protection triggers and how it works if it goes down with the voltage or if it cuts off and I think this will be an interesting experiment. So I will set up the camera here that we can see what's going on on the display and now I will start the chargers one by one. Current, the charge current is slowly ramping up. The fan kicks in from the charger. And now we're getting 31 amps. Now the next one. already close to the maximum rated current which is supposed to be around 55 and now I will start the last charger Interesting. I think it is good to note that it can provide even more than 55 amps. We are at 56.9 at the moment. It's a little jumping. Ah, no, the fans kicking in from the power supply. The fans are temperature controlled. And as you can see, the output voltage is really stable. It still hunts around. 17.9 to 18 but this is at maximum current and I've seen worse this is pretty stable pretty good
It is also worth noting that uh, none of the power components, the transistors or whatever, is connected to the case of the power supply. Okay, you might wonder what the heck just happened. Um, the problem was the cable, not the power supply. Um, I did not use the cable that was provided with the power supply. I used a smaller cable and uh, the current the power supply needed was too much for this one. And now I use the cable that came with the power supply. It is a much bigger, much stronger one. And yeah. This is something we all have to keep in mind. Just because a cable fits doesn't mean that it's suitable for the job. This one is a really thick one and it came with a power supply so uh, this should be able to take the power that we need. So I will start again now with powering up all the chargers. All the charge currents ramp up. And again, we see that the output voltage is very stable. It stays at 0.80 volt. Okay, sometimes it goes to 70.9, but that's absolutely okay. And you can see here, the current it delivers is even more than it is rated. The fans come on now again. Everything's staying cool here. Okay, I think now it's time to start a little experiment. I will now reduce the voltage of the power supply and see at which point the current overload takes place. Okay, I get a maximum of 59.7 amps out and now I will stop the charges and see what happens. Check the voltage. You see that the voltage came up again. Now I will start this charge again.
yes this is really nice as you can see the voltage drops and it does not simply cut off it does not switch off but it drops the voltage when it is overloaded that is very nice because most chargers will reduce the power that they use when the input voltage drops so we do not have a hard cutoff here but a gradually reduced voltage and this is actually the kind of behavior I was hoping for because it can't get any better than this this is very well thought out and absolutely practical because uh, the eye chargers can even be programmed to um, reduce the input power when the voltage drops below a certain point but uh, most high power chargers will only have their full power at a high voltage and if this voltage is reduced also without programming they will reduce their input power so these things work very well together it is really nice to see and now to get the full power again I will increase the voltage a little you see here I can now turn the knob and the voltage doesn't change because it's still in overload mode this is a really nice safety feature So I will stop this charge again. And now, when it's not overloaded anymore, I can increase it again. To what I had before, to 18 volt. Now I start the charge again. And now with the 18 volt I can also get full power on all charges. And you can see it can really provide a high current. Okay, now it's overloading again and the voltage is reduced again. It is really nice to see. So I guess the best thing now is to reduce the charge rates on the star on the chargers. So I'll stop them again. Okay, I stop this one, and now you can see it's not so overloaded anymore anymore so the voltage rises again and for the charger electronics it is much better if the voltage changes slowly than it, if it was abruptly cut off So I will set this to 10 amps instead of 20 now. And this one to say 7 amps.
Let's see. 47 times 18. This is about 850 watts at the moment. So I think I can increase it again a little. Now to 15 amps. So we are around 940 watts now and I think I leave it like this until the batteries are charged. This is enough load. Yes, it becomes just barely warm to the touch, nothing hot, and no smell anyhow, so this is really nice. And the air that is coming out is just a little warm, not hot, so it's definitely enough air going through it there. Oh, my chargers also never had uh, this one, never had as much power before. But this one is also barely warm. So 600 watts seems to be a piece of cake for this one. For that matter, my other chargers are also not really hot. So it's just yeah, really nice. Really nice. Yeah, I have a little over 50 now. Yeah, this one's charging with 30 amps. This one, 15.5. This one, 7. And I think I will leave it running now. Until it is finished, and I think you can read in the comments or in the description of this video if everything went well. But I should be very surprised if not.